think I've had a breakthrough, Justin. And I'm ready to uh, try something new, really. That's what we're, that's what we're doing today. Uh, I'm gonna try a, um, a technique that I've never, ever done before. I know you've never heard me say that before. Nobody's ever heard me say that before. I've always thought about how can we, how can I create a, a sculpture in glass that's not, that's still an image. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, the bottom line is I, I started to crystallize what it might look like in the last few days. And it's based upon um, some of this work that is very heavily textured, but wanting to go deeper and actually more three-dimensional. I wanna be able to see deeper. I want, I want a, a thicker thing, I want a bigger thing, more substantial, more voluminous. Yeah. Mm. Flush it out, flush it out. In my head, this is how it works out. I'm gonna do like a, I want, I'm imagining like, kind of like a bust, you know, here's a head like. So now what I want for this head is I want it to be encased like this. All right, so he's sort of floating in the box. So the idea here is that this is all colored glass, maybe transparent glass, like flowing through. And then all around in this box is clear glass, just transparent, brilliant, clear glass. So the thing that I, that I understand about, about casting from watching, just watching a couple of bullseye videos, really, I just watch two bullseye videos. And, and one of the things that they do is called open face kiln casting. So you get to make something like this. That's what you make, right? And this gets cast in a, in a mold. They have another technique, which is sort of the reverse of this, where you make this in glass, right? What if you put these two together? Like, what if you put this on top of that? So that's kind of the vision. I mean, this could just be a total waste of time. It could be a disaster. But um, I have been thinking about this for a long, long, long time. How do I get something like that? Only one way to find out if it's gonna work, right? Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. What do I need to sculpt? Bullseye alginate. Bullseye investment. Clay. Grog. I don't know what grog is. What is a grog? Grog. Here we go. Wow. Cold. No, oh, it's kind of gross. All right, dude. Now I, got, I think I guess I have to let this dry. I'm logging into my Bullseye account. They have videos that teach you how to do this stuff. So now we find the video that's about open-faced kiln casting. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna start with that. Really, was it two, was two parts investment to one part water? Was that really it? Two parts investment to one part water. Okay. Pour the investment into the water. Oh, I didn't sift it in there. Okay. She wants me to paint it on there now. Why is my, why is my hand all investy? Why is my hand all investy? I'm just trying to, so what I'm trying to do is just, it's basically creating a shell around it. Kind of fun. This is actually kind of a fun thing to do. It looks like it. I like the shape of the head I've created. I'm feeling good about that. <laughs> you know, the mold is, I don't, I don't want these heads to be perfect. I like, remember every, every, every time I make something, the thing I like about glass is that the unknown movement and the things that happen by accident usually end up being better for the best. So I'm not that concerned about it in that way. I should be wearing a mask. Everybody out there, wear a mask. All right, well that's it for the mold. So let's 
mix her up. This is it. This is the promised land of what I think the, the glass can be. Light, transparency, thickness, texture, all of it in one. Lars, she blows. Is that it? That's it. Uh, we're back, another day. Talked to Ted yesterday, and he said that I should dry it in the kiln. I'm not feeling good about this thing coming off of here. Did you see how they popped it off? <laughs> it's just crumbling. Ah. Dun, 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 dun. We did it, we did it. You didn't think we'd do it, but we did it, we did it. It's the old scoop -a Justin. <gasps> oh yeah, baby. Let's see, what's going on here? Yeah, when you follow instructions exactly as they are in the video, <laughs> it actually can work. I'm excited, Justin. I'm fired up. So the vision is still intact. So the plan is now to take this over to the kiln. It's still got a lot of moisture in it and dry it out. Um, I have to level it, so I need something to level it with. Ask me what um, oh. what I would level this with. Uh, hey, Christopher Walken. <laughs> yeah. What, what are you gonna level that uh, mold with? Sand. Sand. So now what I'm gonna do is put this in the sand so that it's somewhat, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's super level for the drying process. Like that, right? Okay, close it up. So that's a wrap for the moment. We'll come back to this and uh, the next step after this is the fun step, which is filling it up with glass and trying to create this three-dimensional colorful head. So soon, soon enough. 360 grams of glass is what I need. Well, this is now, this is the artwork happening. This is where it becomes my process versus the rest of it, which was very generic. Now it's where I have to think about this head in three dimensions. And all of my work up until now has been two dimensional for the most part. So I've got to fill this up with 360 grams of glass and I'm gonna choose from all of this stuff to do it. So, geez. Where do I start? Just gotta, and I gotta weigh each piece, I guess. Seven grams. I'm gonna have to be pretty not super precious about this, otherwise it'll take me the rest of my life. I'm trying to get front to back flow. Maybe just get a little rando reason in there. Violet, pink, violet, let's try violet. I'm gonna put it around the amber so that I get a little speckalooski here. See, I like that it's like catching on a ledge and also trickling all the way down. But I feel like that's gonna provide some interesting situationalization. So we have 360 grams of glass in this mold. You're up, gravity. There are two bad scenarios that can happen. Uh, one bad scenario would be that <clears throat> it turns to mush. Like casting gets so hot, flows so much, all the glass just evens itself out and it turns to mush on this end. Option two is it doesn't flow enough and everything is stampy and I can see all these fragments and pieces in there. What I'm hoping for is something right in the middle, which is like flow, structure, and and dynamic movement throughout the head. That's what I'm hoping for. I am a little worried about it turning to mush. But let's find out. Let's fire it. <sighs> okay. This is exciting though. I'm okay. very, this is freaking exciting. Look at this, look how excited I am. If this thing ends up being what I imagine it to be, you're gonna see some flipping out. Like major. 
Uh, we're opening the kiln now because the casting should be cool. The glass should be cool enough to take out. Um, this is a big moment, kind of. So, um, I, what could I, I'd like to open the kiln. I've been waiting here for you guys for- Well, I, I am finally giving you permission. Thank you. You may open your kiln. No, I'm just kidding. It's fine. It's fine. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look. See? So it didn't turn to mush. So that's clear that, it, that it's got, it still maintained some of these shapes, but uh, I won't really know until I get the light through it. We're gonna take it out. I'm, I'm, this is nervous chatter because I don't know what's on the other side of this thing. Hammer and glass. Usually I use the hammer to break the glass, but today I'm breaking the mold. Ooh, we've got a little figurine. Action figure. Oh, the mask. It's, ow! How do I get the face off? Oh, why is the, oh boy. Okay, eyes. Am I clearly gonna have trouble getting all this shit off of here? What Let's about water? Here. Thanks, good idea. <laughs> You're brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Did you go to art school too? Just bring in my knowledge. Okay, this shit is sticky. You know what I need, dude? Is some water. No. A little Why? bucket of Where water. Let me get a little bucket of water and dip him in. Oh boy, oh boy. This is fun, this is fun, but it's also kind of scary. I'm gonna come right there. <laughs> you like that? So far as it's coming, the vision is, is kind of right on. It's pretty spot on. Because as an artist, you create a vision, and usually your vision is not realistic, and it's out in the stratosphere, and the thing that you end up with ends up being good enough for you, but it ends up being, it can be great for other people, which is, which is great. It's a good thing about it. I don't think any artist, in the history of art ever really loved their work. Well, I just don't think so. But uh, this this is very exciting for me. Take him out, give him a little rinse, a little dryer, Ruski. That crazy little alien man. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, I mean, it's not, he's not polished right now. So, the, and this is the key to the technique that is gonna hopefully really make it happen. And then once I do this, then I can just play around with all kinds of stuff. I can do a full figure, right? I can do a huge one, you know? I can make it a little more realistic. I can try different color schemes. I can do a dude that has like stripes of sunset in his face. Yeah, here's my worry. My, my thing is not flat on the back. And so I need to make sure that this thing is sealed all around. And so I'm gonna use clay to do that. All right, I have the mold, it's in the thing, it's sealed. We need 1,575 grams of water um, to 395 grams of alginate. Wow, it's super light. Is it? Yeah, crazy. It's like cotton candy. I mean, maybe it's all just gonna suck up all the water and shrink down. That could happen, I guess. Shake a rooski. Something seems wrong here. I don't like this. I'm getting more water. Oh, the whisk, use the whisk. Chunky blue f vomit. Now oh, the whisk is breaking me. You must be kidding me. The whisk broke? Really? The whisk broke. This is an important mold because this is the thing that makes the thing the thing. Okay. Oh, we're just going for it. This, this is a chunky mold. It looks like somebody took blue cheese dressing and poured it in here. It's supposed to look like heavy cream. This is like heavy cream that's been sitting out for a month. You guys, what just happened? Look at this, anybody want some blue oatmeal? <sighs> yeah, it does. I mean, there's... <laughs> that's amazing. That's what happens when you do something for the first time. That's what happens when you do something for the first time. My question is, if it looks like that on top, kind of the curdled cheese, if it looks like that on bottom, how is it going to fit smoothly around your glass so that it, it creates a smooth mold? Well, 
I don't think I care so much about that. In fact, what I like, which is what always happens, which is what we always talk about, is that if it's not a perfect fit, there's always the possibility that something goes wrong. But then again, what is wrong? Is there really wrong or is there just different? So, cause you know what's gonna happen next, right? No. I'm gonna make another mold from this using this shit again. Because the glass, this doesn't go in the kiln. Right. So it's like a it's like a four-step process to make the reverse of this, right? You have to make this in glass, and you have to make the reverse in alginate, then you have to make the reverse of that in in investment, and then that goes in the kiln, and the reverse of that ends up being the glass. And they all lived happily ever after. My chunky blue oatmeal, doesn't it look delicious? Ew, it's gross. Um, oh, that's really disgusting. It didn't look like it was gonna taste like anything. We gotta get it out, let's get it out. I'm gonna turn it upside down. According to the bullseye video, the next step to get this out of here is to tap on the edges of this, squeeze it. Oh, we're out. Oh, what do we got here? Now we gotta get this glass out without breaking it. Oh, yeah. It's out. Dude! Where is he? Look at, we got the dude monkey. He is, he's totally a dude monkey in there, look at that. All right guys, we are home stretching on at least the mold making part of this. I'm gonna pour this stuff in here. This is, yeah, I'm gonna do it like that. So I don't know, we're like on day four. Is this day four? Yeah, this casting is a pain in the ass. There's a lot of stuff, molds and reverse molds and plaster silica and alginate and, and scales and weights and boxes. Look at this box I made. So I made a box out of vermiculite. So this is a high temperature board that um, can deal with being fired and there's stainless steel screws in here. So this box is made to the size that I want the finished piece to be. I love the way I'm talking to the camera as though I am teaching this, even though I don't, I'm not teaching it because I don't know how to do it. And you can use it over and over again. So I made it very carefully and very nicely and I lined it with fiber paper. I'm gonna take this guy, put him in the box right about where I want them. And so I'm gonna, the rest of it's gonna be filled up with clear glass. You're supposed to soak the model in water for five to 10 minutes to hydrate the model. Hydrate the model. I oh, feel geez. like this thing is just gonna. I can see put that in, that's okay. I feel like this thing's just gonna dissolve. I know, that scares me. I've got the model soaking. It's been soaking for nine and a half minutes. We've got, I've remeasured out the investment. I've got the water. Well, this goes first, is that what we're doing? Let's see. Ooh, it's just not exactly flowing like I'd like right. it to. If I were you, I'd kind of do this. I'd shake it and make it even, right? Yeah. yeah. We gotta wait 24 hours, let this dry. And then uh, tomorrow we put, load it up with billet. And we rock it out. And we're back. We are back. To our crafty little project that is seeming more and more like a waste of time <laughs> as it goes into day five here. Uh, but, okay, we have to do another step before the final step, which is to make the background. We have to make the clear uh, reverse of this out of this casting billet, which is a clear very bubble-free version of bullseye's glass. Never cut a billet before, first time. And I don't know if I'd do it over the glass. You, wouldn't you? Okay. I don't know if I would. I'm not sure I would I... hold the camera like that. Very good. Sucks. 
All right, so we're gonna go this, we're gonna ditch this. We've got an extra just in case. We're gonna go with these two. However, I can't get these into the mold. Therefore, we have to keep cutting them. Okay, let's do this first. Now, we're gonna go to the kiln. What's in the box? Glass. I'm, I'm trying to get it level, man. <sighs> um, I predict that, um, that this is gonna go pretty well. But the big thing, the most important part of this whole thing is gonna be when it comes out, and I clean it and I see if it fits on my other mold. Lift it out of here. Oh, look at that. That's our dude. You see him. Imagine a beautiful piece of art glass inside of him. All right, component number two is maybe done. Maybe, maybe not, probably not. The goal is obviously a nice, perfect fit. Put it back in the kiln, fuse them together, and then all of this, this hazy kind of texture will polish, and then it'll be like this but it'll still maintain the shape of the head. And that's by virtue of this clear glass pressing up against it. But I have to get the clear glass out of this box. So I'm gonna do the old dumperoo. Look at that. See, why, why, why take the whole box apart? How am I gonna get this thing out? Chisels. Are you gonna want me to use water again? Well, I just feel like that. I'm gonna try water, Justin. I think this is what you're supposed to do. This feels right. I mean, it's not gonna break the glass. All right, ready for the moment of truth? Yeah, let's see. The moment of certain failure. Okay, here we go. This isn't gonna work. Ta-da! No. Kind of, kind of works. So the big moment here is gonna be if I just put this in there like this. Right. And just go for it, like, and just go bit. Back in the box, just like that. I mean, there's so much space underneath it. I wonder if I, if I cleared out the back of it here, if that would help me. I bet it would. Let's try that. Chippies. My favorite tool, Justin, the nippers. Chippered out the bottom of it. I think this will do a couple of things. It'll allow it to fit better. And I also think it might allow for some air to escape. Look okay. at that, huh? Look at that. Pretty See cool. this, this I can live with. This segment brought to you by Sierra Nevada. Because when the going gets rough, the rough get drunk. Apparently, I did speak with Ted and he said that this is a risky type of technique to use and that people have tried it and he hasn't seen much success. The fact that you want it to be a solid hunk of glass, uh, you know, is sort of the limiting factor. but. Uh, I mean, I think you're going at it the smartest way. I don't know that he's told me that anyone's ever tried to put a reverse piece in there. That it's, he wasn't shocked to hear that I was doing this. But he also wasn't certain that I was gonna fail. He was pretty sure that I was gonna fail. But, you know, that's something. I mean, now, so now the idea is all, all of this air that's all around it, it can come out the back the side here. The bottom and out the back. 
That's it, time to put it all back in the box and put it in the kiln. The die is cast. This is gonna disappear for four days. My prediction? Yeah. Lots of, maybe one big giant bubble that comes through and distorts. Or maybe two or three that, that are just trying to get out. That's my guess. In a perfect world, perfect world, that clear glass just melts around the head. And we have this crazy gargoyle alien head floating in clear glass, just calling out to the masses, come be with me, buy me, spend your money on Tim Carey Studio. All of your money. All right, that's all I got. Hmm. I feel like I'm in a doctor's office. My heart, my heart rate's pounding. I'm scared. I haven't been this scared to open up a kiln in about probably six or seven years. Probably since the Christ head. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. It's because I've, I really have a vision of what I want this to look like. So I've set a really high expectation and I'm certain that it's not gonna be good. So I'm really nervous. In fact, I've been wanting, been dying to open up this kiln for four days and now I don't wanna open it. You know what I mean? It's that moment where you're like, all you wanna do is do the thing and then when the moment happens, cause it's gonna crush my soul. Um, okay, what do we do? Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna open this kiln. Is it appropriate to pray to the Lord before I do this? Like people do that before they play football games, right? I mean, I have painted and designed over a thousand faces of Jesus, so I feel like I've, we kind of know each other well and I could ask him for a favor right now. So give me like a countdown or something. No, I can't do that. I'm gonna just let you see it first. I can't believe it, dude. I can't believe that there's no bubbles, that there's no cracks. I mean, I, haven't, I, can't, I can't wait to get this thing on the light. All right, come on! Sorry, sound person. About as excited as I get. Now let's take it out. Can we take it out? This looks exactly how I wanted it to look. It truly is exactly what my brain wanted to see when I opened it. Let's take it to the light. I mean, I know I sound like I'm patting myself on the back right now, but I am. So f off. Well, here we are. Phase two of the reveal. Let's see what it looks like with the light coming through. So let's do the old dumperoo. Oh, that sound is nice. Thank you, Box. You did your job. Oh, man, this is crazy, man. Comes the back off. Now the back has got the surface on it, which is fine. So now, let us see. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. That's it. So that's totally it. I mean, I need to polish these sides now. But that is exactly what I wanted. I mean, all the detail that I put into that sculpture is here. It's amazing. It's just freaking exactly what I was hoping to see here. I didn't spend a ton of time on the sculpture itself or on filling it with color because I was assuming it, the whole thing wasn't gonna work. Now that I know it works, I can really dial in these forms, you know? I can make guys with hands. I can make a face that comes out like this. I can play around with all kinds of cool stuff, you know, because I have the technique. I understand how to do it now. Man, I'm so happy. All right, so while this film crew is screwing around, I'm gonna go show this to my wife. Can I come in? Yeah. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. Are you naked? Yes. No, you can't come in. Come on. Uh, all right, yeah. All right, well, come downstairs when you're done. All right. She's in the shower. What'd you do? She didn't want to. She didn't want me coming and filming her in the shower. <laughs> okay, let me see it. Come see what I did. I have to go. 
says it totally worked it worked but i know you don't love the subject matter because you don't love gruesome bloody f abstract figures mm -hmm. that's not your thing right but what if we did a ballerina or something i gotta polish the sides i i still Dude. like your flatter flat stuff i mean the thick flat things this still because i still picture a ballerina on a you know like <clears> a, so, looks, so you don't me, you don't see like why a, this is super awesome uh -uh, not yet I trust you that it is, but I don't. Well, to me, it still like kind of feels like a tchotchke. Feels like a tchotchke. I think it's cool, and it's right. amazing that it works. That's fine. But I'm not. That's fine. Well, when I get rich, uh, you'll have a nice alimony payment. So. Sounds good. That'll be great for That's you. That's all I care about. Good luck in the classroom today. Yep. Thanks. Yeah, it's nice when my wife likes stuff. She's like the Grim Reaper comes in and just slashes my dreams and crushes me. And she, and she does know a lot, but for this one, she may not know a lot. For this one, she may just be a little out of her league. I mean, this is not good in and of itself. What's good about this is that this technique works. No, this isn't bad. This is fine. She said tchotchke. Um, I wouldn't call it a tchotchke. We call it a proof of a concept that now I know works. This proves that I can create a sculpture in glass and polish the face of it. Um, but I'm happy, man. I'm happy. I, I need to polish this um, and then start thinking about what my next piece is going to be. The next piece will be like my first piece, really. All right. Back to Jesus' faces. do them bigger and we got real problems yeah. you're gonna need a lot more grog <laughs> story of my life justin <laughs> that was good that was very good 